Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, my dear students. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome to another day, another class. It's a great pleasure for me to have you here and to have the opportunity to share another day with you. So let's welcome Elizabeth, Rosario, Iris, Maritza, and Maximo. I think at the end, I need to give a certificate to the very, very punctual students. And you are the ones that are going to receive it because you are always very punctual. Well, today we are going to finish working on the topic about food and we are going to cover a little bit of the uh, different vocabulary that we have for a specific meals. Vamos a hablar de comidas específicas. Today we are going to talk about uh, breakfast at the beginning of the class, okay? So, did you eat your dinner already? Ya cenaron? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes teacher. Okay. Yes teacher. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What did you eat? A hot dog. A hot dog. Good. What else? What else did you eat? ¿Qué más comieron? Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. Very good. Chicken and rice. And the other ones? Eggs and beans. Eggs and beans. And, tor and, and tortilla. Okay. Eggs, and beans, coffee. tortilla, and coffee. What a very good Salvadorian dinner, the one that you had right? Beans, eggs, tortilla, and coffee. The only thing that you were missing was the fried banana. That's the only thing that you were missing. El plátano frito. That was the only missing thing. Good. Let's see. Mr. Maximo, what did you have for dinner? What did you eat? Mr. Omar, ¿qué cenamos? What did you eat for dinner? Está dormido. Mr. Máximo, creo que se nos fue a traer algún cafecito. <laughs> welcome, Arvin. Welcome, Maritza. We are talking about the food that we had for, uh, for dinner today. Maritza, what did you eat for dinner? Pupuses y um, coffee. Pupuses and coffee. A non Salvadorian <laughs> dinner. Very good. Pupuses and coffee. Envidia, Very good. Envidia. Very good. Very envy. Yes. And Mr. Omar, what did you eat for dinner? Anda, anda, pasión. Ah, no, no, he's there. He's there. <laughs> What did you eat for dinner? What is dinner? Dinner is cena. ¿Qué comiste para la cena? What did you eat for dinner? My eat today. My dinner today. Um, tamales. Tamales, me too. <laughs> I ate tamales <laughs> because today is the Candelaria day and. I was the one with the with the tamales, right? So I had to to eat, to eat tamales today. I ate tamales and chocolate. That's what I ate. Tamales and chocolate. Mr. Arvin, what did you eat for dinner? I I dinner. I eggs. ate eggs. I uh -huh. ate dinner eggs and. Plátano, no, 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 no
It's good. It's a, it's a very good question. For a platano frito, you say fried bananas. Fried bananas, oh, that it's fried uh, bananas. platanos mm -hmm. fritos. Because there is another one that it's plantain, but it's not very common, right? To say plantain. And it's not really famous with, with many people. Say fried bananas. <laughs> Okay. That's like Fried the most bananas. common one. Fried bananas. Very good. Mr. Maximo, are you back? Yeah, we'll be on Mr. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you you're there. Yeah, los no, no, book. Okay. What did you eat for dinner? Watermelon. For dinner. The cena. Yes. Yes. Okay, watermelon. Um, uh -huh. Mellow. Uh -huh. And hot tea. Oh, really? So you ate fruit and tea for dinner? Yes. That's cool. Very awesome. Hay mucha gente que dice que la sandía en la noche no es muy buena, pero ya ven. That's good. Maximo, very nice. So Maximo ate fruit and tea for dinner. That was very good. Well, and it is. Lo you vamos were... a ver más noche, mis. Lo vamos a ver más noche levantándose cada rato de la cama. <laughs> no, maybe it's a, maybe when when your when your body is used to something, it's normal. Yo creo que ya es como una costumbre. Si ya lo hacen como normalmente, ya es como hasta se asusta el cuerpo si le da otra cosa. Si le da una pupusa así como que qué pasa, qué está pasando aquí. <laughs> okay, very good. So who was the one with the hot dog? Can fue la que del hot dog? ¿Quién comió hot dog? It is, yep. right? <laughs> it is. Yep. You ate hot dog for dinner. That's very good. Well, simple, easy, and quick, a hot dog. Excellent. So we are going to keep uh, on the practice that we had yesterday. That was for some and any, right? For some and any, we were talking that we use them in affirmative sentences and in negative sentences to explain that you have something and to explain that you need something, okay? So we were talking that any goes with the negatives and some with the affirmatives, right? So it says like, let's get some eggs, right? That you need to get eggs. We don't need any eggs. No necesitamos ninguno. No necesitamos nada, right? We don't need any. And for the countable nouns that are the ones that we can count, you use an for the ones that begin with vowel and a for the ones that begin with consonant, okay? And for the plurals, you don't use a or an, okay? You don't say an eggs, for example, and tomatoes, no, it's not possible. And the noun count nouns are the ones that you cannot make plural and you don't use a or an in this case. You don't say an, an lemonade, right, in this case, or a lemonade. If it is singular, yeah, for sure. An egg, eggs, you make the difference there. And here, I wanted to have a little practice on this topic, right? Remember that some is for affirmatives, any is for negatives. I need you please to check on this exercise. I need you to check the exercise and we are going to work on the answers, right? We're going to work on the answers. I am going to give you some minutes for you to check it first, okay? Veamos lo primero, revisen lo primero. And then you are going to give me the answers. Le voy a pedir ahí a diferentes personas que me digan las respuestas, okay? Here we have the first space. Here we are going to need another one. Here we need another one. And here we need another one. Another one here, another one here, 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 and here, okay? So we are going to make numbers on these ones. Here, it's going to be number one. This is going to be number two, number three. En tu cuaderno vayan haciendo ahí la listita para abajo, porque la vamos a ir copiando. Number four, number five, number six, 
number seven, number eight. Okay, here is number eight. Okay, there we go. I need you to write on your notebook a list from one to eight. Vamos a hacer el listadito ahí del uno al ocho. What word is necessary on each of them? For number one, do you need some or any? For number two, some or any? Number three, some or any? And you are going to make the list, okay? Because I am going to ask different people, okay? Creo que tengo que acabar los ocho para que cada uno de ustedes me dé una respuesta. So I need you please to work on that. Check on the sentences and I need you to tell me, do you need some or any on the sentence? I am going to read it and then you analyze it. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, do we have mayonnaise? No, we need to buy, we need onions too. Oh, I don't want onions. I hate onions. Then let's get celery. No, I don't want celery in my potato salad, but let's put apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay, make the list, please. And if you have, you can tell me number one, two, three, four, and the answer. <laughs> One is any. Why? Why? Why do you say that it's any? ¿Por qué decimos que es any in number one? Porque está preguntando si hay una mayonesa o hay alguna mayonesa. Uh, but number one, it's let's make. Some, some. Ah, no, okay, okay. Está, some. Está repitiendo el number two. Sorry. Okay. Number 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 two. It's any. Okay. Because it's making a question. That's good. What about for number one? Let's make some. Some. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque sí, a veces no, ¿por qué? <risa> Como los niños, ¿verdad? ¿por qué? Porque sí, dicha, porque son. <risa> Why do you say it's some in number one? Let's make some. <coughs> Because it it's is. A, it's a, a affirmation. <risa> it's affirmative, right? It's affirmative. Good. Very good. Number three. Any. We need to buy any. Some. Some. Why some? You know any. It's affirmative. It's affirmative. Sentence. sentence. Right? It's an affirmative sentence. Because it says no. No. Y ahí se acaba esa oración. Claro. No. We need to buy some. Mm -hmm. En este caso es no. Tenemos que comprar, right? Tenemos que comprar. Number four. Some. Some. We need some onions too, because two. it is affirmative as well. Good. Let me see. Let me see. Rosario, what do you have in number five? What do you have in number five? Uh, any. Any. Por qué? Uh -huh. Porque es negativa. Very good, because it's negative. Because it's negative. Because it's a negative, negative. sentence. Very good. It is number six. It's okay, don't some. worry. Some. Why? No, me, no le tengas miedo al why. <laughs> Because it is. No, por eso ahí vamos a aprender. 
it's okay, it's okay, because it is affirmative, okay, because it is an affirmative sentence, porque la oración es positiva, es afirmativa, okay, then let's get some celery, entonces compremos un poco de, what is celery? Cereal, cereal? No, celery? Apio. Apio, very Apio. good, ting, 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 <laughs> Apio. It's very delicious with peanut butter. Si no lo han probado con mantequilla de maní, no han probado el mundo todavía. It's very delicious. Very delicious. Number seven. No, I don't want any. Any. Ew. Sí. It's just like, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Right? I don't want any. No quiero nada de apio. Okay, but let's put some. Some. some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. What is the meaning of awful? Awful. What is the meaning of awful? Asco. Yes. I don't know. I don't... Mm -hmm. Eso suena. Asco. Horrible. Yo creo que tenemos niveles. Esa como feo. Guacala. Asco. Awful. It's the words of everything. Right? I have a friend. Yes. Yuck. All right. Yuck. Yuck is like the top one of everything. Awful. It's like, es una terrible, horrible guacala, right? That sounds awful. I have a friend who loves to eat breads with orange. He puts the bread and he puts orange in the bread and he eats it like that. For me, it's awful. It's like, ew. Do you know any person who has this crazy things about food? ¿Conocen alguna mala, rara costumbre en cuanto a comida? My friend, bread with orange, panes con naranja. And I'm like, ah, one, it's horrible. And he says that they are the issues. I have another friend who eats salpores with beans. Salpores with beans. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> or quesadilla. Quesadilla with beans. Chao. ¿Alguna costumbre extraña que hayan visto alguna vez? Eh, yo tengo una eh, friend, una amiga que ella come pan francés con banana. With fry, fry banana. Con plátano frito? No. Ah, with guineo. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she has to meet my friend <laughs> with the orange. Okay. Pan con guineo. Cher. Uh -huh. uh, también tengo una amiga come eh, tortilla con plátano frito. <laughs> tortilla con plátano frito. O sea frito. que pone la tortilla, el plátano y de ahí le dobla y así se la come. Maybe it's good. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's good. Another, uh -huh. Yo también conozco a una amiga que come tortilla tostada con leche. Ah, but that's good. It's like the, the cereal for the Salvadorians. Es el cornflakes de los salvadoreños. <laughs> yeah, it, it needs the same. Sabe igual que el cornflakes. But it's good. Algunos le ponen sal, otros le ponen azúcar. But it's delicious. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Any other crazy thing that you know? Tamales with ketchup. Tamales with ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> That's new. That's new for yeah. me. I know people who love to eat eggs with ketchup. Eggs with ketchup, it's very common. But tamales with ketchup? Well, I put lemon in the tamales. I put the lemon. tamal, tamal, and a lot of lemon on a the mí tamal. Me gusta, a mí me gusta, pero los frijoles molidos con, con limón. <laughs> wow, that's new for me, you see? It's like, wow. <laughs> It is cool. tamal le pongo, pero el vinagre, el vinagre del curtido. 
Okay. O, o el vinagre del chile preparado. Riquísimo. Wow. So you see. Con francés. Con francés, yeah. Yeah, it's because I am from Santa Ana and in Santa Ana it's very common that you put lemon in the tamal. It's very common. In the chicken soup, in the tamales, in the food, everything. The lemon o, is life. O también el curtido de las pupusas con francés. Y huevo. Mm. <laughs> okay, so you see, for many people, for many people, maybe these ideas are awful. And you say like, tamales with ketchup. Ew, that's awful. And you say like, ah, apples in potato salad. That's a traditional salad for Christmas in El Salvador. Potatoes, apples, mayonnaise, and that's it, right? That's a very traditional salad in El Salvador. Now, let's practice the conversation that we have here. It says, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Repeat with me. The store doesn't have any potato salad. The store, the store doesn't have any potato salad. salad. We have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. We, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, when you say, well, 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 we have lots of potatoes. We have lots, we have lots of potatoes. potatoes. Let's make of some. Potatoes. Let's, Let's make some. Hagamos un poco, right? Let's make some. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do okay. we have any mayonnaise? Do okay. we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. 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 Mayo. Or you can say mayo, right? I hay muchas personas que dicen mayo. The mayo. I love the mayo in my sandwich, but mayonnaise is the most common word. Um okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Okay. Okay. We have, we have mayonnaise. No, we need to buy some. No, we need oh, we need buy some. Buy some. We need some onions too. We need, we need some, some onions, onions too. too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Oh, oh I, I don't, don't want any onions. I hate onions. I hate onions. What is something that you hate in your food? Que es algo que ustedes odian en su comida. I hate eh, orégano. I hate orégano. I don't like the orégano to appear on my food. I hate it. What is something that you hate? So you say, teacher, I hate onion or garlic. Garlic. Teacher. Mm. Garlic, uh-huh. Teacher, I hate... I hate lemon of soup. Lemon on the soup. On okay. the soup. I hate lemon, you say. Yes. What else do you hate in your food? Que todo va perfecto, pero lo encuentran y... I hate it, you say. What is something that you hate? Me arruinan los otros. <laughs> yeah, it, it's something that I hate. I hate chili in the curtido. That you are eating the pupusas in a very happy way, and then you find the chili pepper in the middle of the pupusa, and you're like, <laughs> I hate that. I don't like it. Right. Okay, let, then let's get some celery. Then, then let's get some then celery. Let's get some celery. Then, 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 let's then let's get some celery. Celery. Celery? No, celery is the one that you pay. Celery. 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 No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. No, no I don't I want, want any celery in my potato salad. But let's yeah. put some apples in it. Uh, let's, put some apple 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 in it. let's put some apples in it. Let's, but let's put some apples in it. 
But with that apples in it. In it. Apples in potato salad. Apple in potato no, salad. 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 Pero como de veras, como que de veras se sorprende, así como apple in potato salad. Apple in potato apple salad. salad. That apple sounds awful. That, that sounds, sounds awful. 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 Okay, very good. Now we are going to have. I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me, uh -huh. Let's see. Me, who? Me, Elizabeth. <laughs> or who said me? ¿Quién dijo me? Ah, Gabriela. Gabriela. Gabriela and Iris. Okay. Tenemos mi primera pareja. Necesito otros dos. I have Gabriela and Iris. And the other two? Who are the other two? Necesito otros dos. Tengo a Iris y a Gabriela. Necesito otros dos. Primera yo. <laughs> Elizabeth and one more. <laughs> en Rosario. Ok, Elizabeth en Rosario. Oh, oh. Tell me. <laughs> Tengo miedo. <laughs> Tengo miedo. What's ok, there? so we have. Let me see. Gabriela en Elizabeth. Le voy a dar la oportunidad. Gabriela, tell me what number do you want? Do you want number one or number two? Number two. Ok, en Elizabeth, you are going to be number one. Elizabeth en oh. Rosario are going to be number one. You are going to read the conversation, but you are going to read the conversation in a different way because you are going to be crying, crying. Está al revés. Crying. Llorando. Es tarda se me ha venido potato salad. <laughs> when we have a lot of potatoes, let's make oh, some. No. You are going to be crying. But my other two volunteers, mis otras dos voluntarias, van a estar angry. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some, right? You're going to be angry. So, este es el momento para que saquen sus dotes artísticos. Let's see. Couple number one. You are going to be crying because there is nothing in the market. Aquí, de aquí para Televisa. Okay. So, let's start. Action. Vamos, Elisa. ¿En qué grupo soy, teacher? Ustedes son los dos. Ahorita va, ahorita va Eli y eh, Rosario. Ok, group. Reactions for them. Yeah, you can do it. Woo! Go. Elizabeth and Rosario. Action. Go ahead. ¿Quién, ¿Quién ¿Quién empieza? The one that you want. Quien quiera. Dele Rosario. The store does have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. <laughs> okay, do we have any mayonnaise? <laughs> no, we need to buy some. <laughs> we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I, I hate onions. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she hates onions. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. They, they let's hang some celery. No, I don't mm. want any celery. In my potato salad. Put, let's put some egg in it. 
a bird in potato salad that so awful. <laughs> It was a very good job. Very good job. Fantastic. It is in Gabriela. You are very angry because the store doesn't have any potato salad. <laughs> okay. Uh, ¿Quién empieza? You. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have a lo, lot of potato. Let, let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in the potato salad. But let's put up some apple in it. Apple in potato salad? That's all. Awful. That sounds awful. Very good job, my dear students. <laughs> Yay! Reactions, please, for my oh. very good job. Very good. Very good job. You see, not todo tiene que ser así de serio. That was very awesome. That was very, very good. You see, this helps you to relax and to say, like, this is good for you to practice your intonation. And you can see that English is not the same when you are happy, when you are angry, when you are sad. The English changes depending on the mood and depending on how you are using the vocabulary. That was very excellent. Excellent job, my dear students. So in a very quick way, I need ingredients from everybody. Todos en esta clase, abran los micrófonos, por favor. Todos abren su micrófono. And I need ingredients for a cheeseburger. Ingredients for a cheeseburger. Meat. Meat. What else? Bread. Cheese. Bread. Cheese. Tomato. Tomato potatoes. Good. Onion. Ketchup. Onions. Mayonnaise. Ketchup. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Good. What else? Bacon, bread. bread, very good. Avocado. Avocado, right? You can put avocado. Onion, good. Beans. Beans for a cheeseburger. Well, that's beef. Uh, beef. 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 Yo dije, bueno, si le quieren poner frijoles, que le ponga frijoles. Beef. Beef is cheese. Very good. And for sure, I am going to add another one. That is mustard. Right? Mustard is mostaza. Okay, mustard. Bacon. Yes, bacon. Very good. I have another one. Ingredients for a vegetable salad. Go ahead. Ingredients for a vegetable salad. Lettuce? Tomatoes. Lettuce, tomatoes. What else? Tomato. What else? Tomato, tomato. Good. What else? Cucumber. Cucumber. Excellent. Celery. Lemon. Celery. Lemon. Very good. Beans. Beans. Yeah. Beans Cheese. for this one. Cheese. Yes. Cheese. Carrot. Carrots. What else? Lemon. Lemon. Good. Onion. <laughs> Onion. Very good. Another one. What else? What else? In some cases, we corn. add. Yeah. Very good. Corn. We add corn. What ingredients do you need for a fruit salad? Apple. Apple. Bananas. Bananas, grapes, very good. Mango. Mango. Uh, Honey. Melon. Melon. A strawberry. A strawberry. Strawberry, good. A strawberry. What else? 
Apple. Apple, yeah. Apple, banana, mango, lemon, honey. Right, le podemos poner miel también. Honey. Oranges, tangerines. Semillas, sí. Seeds. Yogurt. yogurt, very good. Orange. Orange, very nice. Right, many people, many people put uh, yogurt on, on it. Very good job. Now, I have here different types of ingredients for different types of breakfast, right? In the United States, it's very common that you have eggs, bacon, toasts with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly for the breakfast, right? Jam, it's like a, a jamón or jelly that it's a jalea. Or you use it, right? Jam and jelly. It's also called jam in some uh, countries. We have here for Japan. What things do people eat in Japan for breakfast? You have it there. What do they eat Fish. for breakfast? Fish? Rice. Rice. Soup. Soup. Pickles. Pickles. Green. Some pepinillos. Green tea. And green tea. What about Mexico? What do people eat in Mexico? Eggs. 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 Beans. 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 Tortillas. 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 Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet, bread. Sweet bread. Coffee. 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 What is the most uh, similar to El Salvador? Hey, Mexico. 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 Right. The, the closest thing that we have here in El Salvador is Mexico. Because we have eggs, beans, <coughs> coffee for breakfast, right? And sweet bread. A sweet bread, right? Sweet bread is very common. What do you think about? Fruta. Yes, in some in some places you don't eat fruit, right? But if you go to a restaurant or to a hotel, it's very common that they put fruit in your breakfast, and it's very delicious to eat some fruit. Do you imagine eating fish in the morning? Ni <laughs> sopa. Yes, soup in the morning, it will be like, hmm? No. Taking into account this one, let me see. I am going to ask Arby. Arby, how would you make the perfect breakfast with all the ingredients that you have here? Uh, with, with eggs, mm -hmm. bacon, mm -hmm. uh, fresh fruit, mm -hmm. fruit, um, orange juice. And orange it's juice. All. It's all. Very yes. good. Let's see. Mr. Maximo, how would you make your perfect breakfast? Egg. Egg. Uh -huh. Toast. Toast. And milk. Milk. A milk. A milk. And milk. Just that. Let's see. Patty, how would you make your perfect breakfast? Uh, beans. Mm -hmm. uh, coffee. Bacon. Eggs. Okay, beans, coffee, bacon, and eggs. Amazing. Let's see. Let's go with Tirsa. How would you make your perfect breakfast? Beans, egg, mm, coffee, mm -hmm. fresh food. And fresh fruit. Very good. Rosario? The microphone, sweetie. Beans, coffee, and toast, toast with butter, toast with butter, toast with butter, tostadas con mantequilla. Elizabeth, how would you make your perfect breakfast? Uh, eggs, beans, tortilla, coffee, 
uh, sweet bread. Very good. A little bit of everything, right? Fantastic. Let's see. Iris, how would you make your perfect breakfast? Beans, tortillas, eggs, sweet bread, and orange juice. Very good job. And Gabriela? My break, breakfast will be coffee, orange juice, toast with butter, bacon, eggs, and beans. <laughs> what a delicious breakfast. Maritza, mm -hmm. how would you be, how would you make your perfect breakfast? Maritza? Se nos fue a ver el partido, Maritza. Okay, <laughs> let's continue then. Teacher, I have, teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Yes, and the Maxim? picture. Ah, right and here. And the last picture. I have it right here. Bean is, is uncountable. Beans. Is uncountable. Uh huh. Why is plural? Oh, in because, this picture. Because in that case, that's the name of that. Para los frijoles, ya ese es un nombre plural. Es como este. Le voy a poner otro ejemplo. Aquí. Eh, es como. Scissors. Tijeras. Que ya es plural de por sí. No podemos decir scissor. Sino que ya su nombre es scissors. En el caso de beans, beans ya es su nombre normal. Porque no podemos decir bean. Ese ya es su nombre. Ese es, es su nombre. Y no, ya es, es, a pesar de ser incontable, ya estaba plural. Así es su nombre ya en general. So that's, that's why. Beans is beans. Even when it is uncountable. Aun cuando sea incontable. Ya es beans. That's the name. Right? That's why. Ya, ya nació así. <laughs> That's its name in this case. No podemos decir bean. Ya es su nombre específico. Especify. Específico. Say beans. Okay. Good. That's the answer. Good question. Very good question. I really like that you are very curious. In the next one, let's go here. Imagine that I go and I invite you here. I am going to be Sara and you are. Kumiko, okay? I am Sara and you are Kumiko. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Everybody, todos ustedes son Kumiko. Vamos. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's, okay. okay. Let's have okay. breakfast um, together on Sunday. My family and Japanese on Sunday. Okay, good, very good. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We can have fish, rice, and soup. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque soup. soap es con el que nos bañamos. Soap es jabón. Soup es sopa. Okay. We usually have fish, rice, <coughs> fish for breakfast. Yes. That's interesting. Sometimes, Sometimes we have a we salad, have too. A salad too. And we always have, 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 have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things, uh, right? In this one, we have, we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. I never eat fish for breakfast. In this case, we have usually, sometimes, always, and never. Do you know what is the meaning of these words? ¿Saben qué significan estas palabras? ¿No hay día? ¿Alguien sabe cómo se llaman este tipo de palabras? Usually, sometimes, always, never. 
Frequency. Ajá. Frequency. Frequency. Frequency what? Frequency nouns. Frequency action. actions. Frequency adverbs. Frequency adjectives. What is it? Frequency adverbs. Son adverbios de frecuencia. And they tell you, they tell you how often do things happen, right? Usually, sometimes, always, never. They are indefinite, right? Son indefinidos. ¿Por qué? Porque no tenemos una frecuencia específica. Decimos, usualmente, usualmente puede ser dos días a la semana, tres días, cuatro, cinco. We never know, right? Sometimes, sometimes puede ser todos los meses, una vez al año, right? We never know. I sometimes, you say, always, always is every day, all the time. Sí. Never, nunca. nunca, right? So these are adverbs of frequency. And what I want to explain with this, it's my next slide. Here I have the definition of the adverbs of frequency. Here you have like the frequency that they can represent from 100 up to zero. And in this one we have, we have here, I am going to erase everything so you can see it. 100% is always. Then you have usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. And the use in a sentence is, we have here, the use in a sentence. In a sentence, you can use it like this. The subject, tenemos el sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia, el verbo y el complemento. El adverbio de frecuencia siempre va después del sujeto, antes del verbo. El único que podemos pasar al frente es sometimes. Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that can be at the beginning of the sentence. Sometimes I eat breakfast or I sometimes eat breakfast. It is the only one, okay? It's the only adverb of frequency that can be at the beginning. So, el único que pueden poner al principio es sometimes. Pero los demás van después del sujeto. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever, casi nunca. And I never. I never eat breakfast. The question for the frequency. Do you ever? Do you ever? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? ¿Alguna vez tienes o comes pescado para el desayuno? And you say, I always do. I sometimes do. And no, I never do. What is something that you always eat for breakfast or that you always have for breakfast? What is something that you always have for breakfast? Algo que no les falta for bread. breakfast. Bread. So you say, I always eat bread for breakfast. Another thing that it is never missing in your breakfast. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es otra cosa que? Milk. So you say, I always drink milk for breakfast. Good. Another one. Do you have coffee for breakfast? No. 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 So? I always drink coffee for breakfast. <laughs> Guilty. Let's see. For dinner. For dinner. What is something that you always eat for dinner? I can say that I always have beans for dinner. What is something that you always have for dinner? Que no le falten a cena. Water. Water, right? Water. So you say, I always drink or eat, right? I always drink or I always eat, eat 
And then you have here, what for breakfast? I'm going to make it bigger so I don't ruin the sentence. It can be, I always drink or I always eat milk for breakfast, or I always eat bread for breakfast, right? And you make the sentence. Tell me something that you never eat for breakfast. I never, you are going to say here, I never. What is something that you never eat for breakfast? So. Soup. Soda. Ah, soda. So in this case, give me the complete sentence. ¿Cómo haríamos la oración completa? I never, I never drink soda for the breakfast. Excellent sentence. I, I drink, I drink always drink coffee. I always drink coffee. Okay, I always drink coffee. Porque no podemos pasar el verbo antes que el adverbio de frecuencia. Very good job. Another example of something that you never eat for breakfast. What is something that you never eat for breakfast? Vamos, todos pueden darme un ejemplo, vamos. Yo sé que pueden. Ahí lo tienen, solo pónganle el, el qué. I never drink milk for breakfast. I never drink milk for breakfast. Very good job. Another example. Otro ejemplo. Thank you, Iris. Tell me something that you never eat or drink for breakfast. Gabriela, tell me something that you never drink or eat for breakfast. Or you can invent something, don't worry. Vamos, Gabi. The microphone. You never drink for breakfast. Uh -huh. Or eat. Que tome o coma. Cerveza, ¿cómo se dice? Nunca, nunca, nunca. <laughs> beer. Beer, ah, beer. Never. I never drink beer. I never, I never drink beer, beer for breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> okay, very good. I never drink beer for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner, right? I never. Tirsa, give me one example. Something that you never drink or eat for breakfast. Go ahead, Tirsa. No, teacher, no puedo. No puedo ver la pantalla grande. Okay. Tengo problema. Ah, uh, okay. So the sentence is: I never eat. Y decimos algo que nunca comemos para el desayuno. I never eat bananas for breakfast, for example. Que es algo que nunca comes para el desayuno. I never eat. I never eat water. Berros, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, watercress. Watercress, ajá. Uh -huh. I never. I never water. Watercress. Watercress. For breakfast. I never eat watercress for breakfast. Very good. And Maximo, tell me something that you never eat for breakfast. I never eat beef for breakfast. I never eat beef for breakfast. Patricia, go ahead. I never eat potato for potato for breakfast. I never, I never eat potatoes for breakfast. Very good job. In this case, if we know where to put the adverbs of frequency, si ya les expliqué dónde van los adverbios de frecuencia que van después del sujeto y antes del verbo, 
¿Cómo los ubicamos en las oraciones que les estoy mostrando? In this one, it says, what do you usually have for breakfast? And then on the next sentence, it says, well, I have coffee, cereal, and juice. Often. ¿Cómo la transformaríamos usando often? Well, I often have coffee. Very good. Well, I often have coffee. The next one. Do you eat breakfast at work? Ever. Do you ever eat? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Very good. Let's see the next one. I have breakfast at my desk sometimes. I have breakfast, I I have have breakfast, breakfast at, at my desk. desk. Excellent. You have the two options, right? Aquí tenemos las dos opciones. Sometimes I or I sometimes. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Y como sometimes es el único que puede ir al principio, sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. Very good. The next one. Do you eat rice for breakfast usually? Do you usually, usually, do you usually rice eat for rice for breakfast? Excellent. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? And the last one, it says, no, I have rice hardly ever. No, I hardly ever have rice. No, I hardly ever have rice. Very good job. Recuerden, después del sujeto, antes del verbo, no en otro lado. Sometimes es el único que puede ir al principio. Now, here you have an example. Yes, 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 yes. What do you mean hard, hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi, oh, okay. But hardly ever is like, no. Mm, maybe one And time often? in a year. Often, seguido. Mm -hmm. Seguido. It's like, yeah, muy seguido. Usually is usualmente. Ever is like alguna vez. And sometimes, a veces, usually, usualmente. Right? So I have here one little exercise on which we have to transform the sentences. And it says, I have breakfast on never weekends. I never have breakfast on weekends. La oración, work, I, snacks, eat, at, hardly ever. How can you create it? What is the first thing that you need? ¿Qué es lo primero que necesitamos? Subject. The subject. What is the subject? I. 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 Uh -huh. I. What is the adverb I. frequency? Hardly, hardly ever. ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Carly. <laughs> hardly. Mm. I hardly ever. What is the verb? It. 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 What? It's not. It's not. Snacks. Tengan cuidado de no decir snakes porque snakes son culebra. Ok. I hardly ever eat snacks. Where? At, At work. work. At work. Very good job. I hardly ever eat snacks. At work. Very good. What is the next sentence? What is the subject? I. 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 Very good. What is the adverb of frequency? Sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes. What is the verb? It. It. It, it what? Pasta. 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 When? For, For dinner. dinner. For dinner. For dinner. For dinner. Okay. Okay. No le gustó mi oración. O sea, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. Okay, and the last one. The last one says, I. I. What is the other frequency? Often. 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 Um, what is the verb? Have? Have uh, what? Dinner. 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 Dinner with, with my whom? family. With my family. Very good. I often have dinner with my family. Very good job. That is the thing. When you are creating the sentences, you have to remember the order. So like, okay, the subject, the verb, the adverb frequency, this and that. 
maybe when you are talking, you are not going to be thinking, right? Uh, subject, grammar, adverb, frequency, but you remember the order, right? You will remember the order later on, okay? So we are going to uh, just finish with this little exercise because we are about to finish the class and tell me something that you eat often, Sometimes or never? Pasta. Often, sometimes, or never? Never. Never. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Hardly ever, right? What about hamburgers? Often. Often. Never. Often. Never. Sometimes. Ooh. Fish. Sometimes. Never. Never. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes. Sometimes. What about the eggs? Often. Often, right? Sometimes. Often. Sometimes. Often. Broccoli? Never. Sometimes. Sometimes. Always, you say, ah, then the patria. <laughs> El pobre brócoli en Sometimes. la Sometimes, the broccoli, right? Good, very yeah. good. Never, you say. Okay. Well, my dear students, that's all for today. We are going to finish here. And I am going to be more than happy to see you tomorrow for our next class of the week. Have a beautiful night. Sleep tight. And I am going to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Let's go with music. <laughs> Bye. Bye.